Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this is a uh, hope uh, everyone is doing well. This is a little video clip to kind of show people where to submit their assignments. Some people are having a, uh, trouble finding where uh, to submit assignments. Others of you guys uh, have been uh, putting it all in uh, well. And I've been getting a lot of assignments in, but um, you know, we didn't get a chance to go over this before. We all left for school and didn't see each other again, so um, we're all still getting on this uh, at a different pace. Everyone's uh, working on a different pace. So I just want to go over real quick how to do this. First off, remember that my policy is I'm not collecting assignments on email. And the reason I'm not collecting assignments on email is because my Gmail is a mess right now. It's got messages from uh, administrators, messages from uh, superintendent's office, messages from uh, people trying to sell me stuff, plus students, um, plus all these little messages about messages on school. Gmail is a mess, and I miss uh, emails about meetings. I miss emails about stuff. So I don't think it's very reliable. Um, and loop mail is more reliable. If you want to send me a message, send it to me on loop mail, but don't send me assignments because then I get all these assignments on the, the mail. It clutters up that email and I don't know whose I got, whose I didn't, whose I missed. The best way to do it, the way we're doing it is, I'm having you submit it through school loop. Okay, and as you can see right here, um, we have our class calendar here. When you click on the chemistry class, you come into something that looks like this. This is the teacher view. Um, you guys have like current assignments below, and that's another option of where you can put stuff in. But um, this is your class calendar here. Um, all the places where you can uh, submit work will have a green dot or a blue dot in them. The green dot and the blue dot, the difference in colors just dip depends on whether um, the uh, scores have been published already. Um, so these ones right here that are blue, people are still turning stuff in. I haven't uh, put in the scores yet or published them. The green ones, I went ahead and put in the scores and published them already. Okay. So when you want to go ahead and, uh, and turn something in, what you do is you come into any one of these with dots, find the appropriate one. Okay. If you want to turn in the vocabulary that you assignment that there was, you come over here to the vocabulary, click on it. It'll open up what's called an assignment box, or at least I call it an assignment box. And once again, mine looks a little differently than yours because I've got a teacher account. You guys have a student's account. But I looked at my daughter's uh, from her school loop at her school. And hers right here, instead of saying submission, says submit work. And when I click on it, it asks if you want to get that work from the locker, which hardly anybody has their work on locker, or the device. And if you click on the device, it'll take you step by step to choosing a file on, the, on your device. Okay. When you go ahead and submit through here, then I'll click on this and show you. I get all your submissions right here next to your name. So I know that your submissions are right here. And even if I don't grade it till later, um, I will go ahead and, uh, you know, know that. Well, I haven't uh, graded that one yet. You know, if there was a submission here and I don't have a number here, I still have to get to that. Okay. So um, that's why I'm having you guys submit through school loop. It's the most organized way I have of keeping all 156 of you guys all organized. Okay. Now, one last thing um, is that please make sure that you submit a, preferably a PDF file. If not, um, a Word document seems to work also. But uh, PDF files, I think I prefer because they're smaller. They come up faster. Uh, Word documents, uh, you can, you know, if I click on that one, it opens up Microsoft Word for me, then it opens up the file, and it works. It does, uh, so both of them will work. However, um, you know, Google uh, PDF files seem to work much faster. They're smaller, um, and they are permanent. I, you can look at that as a plus or minus. You can't edit a PDF file, whereas you can edit a uh, uh Microsoft Word. So a lot of times I will go ahead and send you out a Microsoft Word document, which you can open with Microsoft Word or even Google Documents. And then you can actually edit in there. Um, let me go ahead and show you here. Now let's go over how to um, 
turn things into a PDF file. Okay, so if you've got an assignment here and you can go ahead and go on to um, Google Docs. And I had it open only because I have this little recording thing here. It doesn't let me get into that little waffle on Google. So um, I had already had it open. But you can go ahead, you know, you can go ahead and get to Google Docs using that little waffle out here in the corner for um, um, the Google. Um, <clears throat> so let's say you wanted to, you know, type up a file. So you go ahead and say this. I'm going to go ahead and open this file and start a new one. This is a practice doc uh, just for kicks and giggles. All right, so you'll notice up here, in case you didn't know this already about Google, uh, Google Docs, is that they save automatically any changes you make. Um, so your changes are automatically saved. You don't have to worry about saving, backing up. Uh, you just keep typing. Um, what you want to do now is do not download a Google Doc and uh, give it up to me um, because it, I lo upload that one to me because those tend to require permission for you to uh, um, submit to me. You have to go ahead and give me permission ahead of time or I have to ask for it later on. I don't even know where it goes. So I think the easiest way of doing this is just to turn it into a PDF file. So if you go up to the file over here the file menu and then you go to download you can download this you can download this is Microsoft Word doc and it seems to be working um, you can even open up Microsoft Word docs I'll show you right now um, but you can download as a PDF document and if you download it as a PDF document you'll see in the bottom left right here it says that untitled document and you can open it up and then you can go ahead and this is right here this is practice doc um, so you can go ahead and go down over here and um, download. Let's see, is that it? Sorry, there's like this little menu that's in my way over here. I'll have to go ahead and try that. And so now you can go ahead and download it and name it whatever you want. And yeah, it's, it's name say, uh, let's say I call it save PDF document. And I go ahead and I'm. I've already had one, so that's why it's asking me to replace it. If I go ahead and uh, download it now, it's on my device, and now it can be uploaded again. Okay? Um, so that's one way we can do that. Another thing you can do is you can go ahead and uh, open up a Microsoft Doc. Uh, you can go here, open a file. If you have one on your uh, device already, you can go ahead and click open a file, upload, and then the select a file from your device. I'm going to select this one right here, sample problems that I was using here. If I click that one, it'll upload it. And when it's done uploading, eh, the format might be a little different. You might have to change a few things, but for the most part, all your data is in there and it's just a matter of formatting. And then if you want, later on, you can save it as a PDF on the way down. On the way out, you can save it and download it as a PDF document, or you can download it as Microsoft. Notice that since this is a Microsoft Word doc, I can still edit it. If this was a PDF, I wouldn't be able to edit it, but uh, I can still you know, write and type on here. Okay, it doesn't mess up my original one that was on my, uh, my uh, uh, hard drive, but it brings it up and now it saves it as this document and then I can continue saving it as a Microsoft Word doc or I can save it now um, and I think they're saved in Drive or I can uh, save it as a PDF file and then I can download them. Okay. Uh, I can go ahead and download as a Microsoft Word doc or PDF document. Okay. So I hope these are helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. Once again, the best place to contact me with an email is the loop mail. My Gmail is a mess. Um, and I'm having, um, I'm trying to have office hours uh, on Google Meets. I'll put up a, a little notice. Um, I'll put up a little link. All you have to do is go onto uh, Google Classroom is where I'll put the link up. Go to Google Classroom. There'll be a link uh, for the Meet and then you can go ahead and click on the, the meet and it'll take you to a little video conferencing and you can ask questions face to face and we can take care of those uh, more quickly. Okay, so I hope this is helpful. If not, uh, if you need more help, once again, get in touch, touch with me through Loopmail 
or um, at one of the office hours. I'm trying to have office hours Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays from 1040 to uh, 1140. The reason why I'm having them at those hours, kind of off hours, because it's the last half hour of third period and the first half hour of fourth period. So if you know you can't, if you're busy with another class, somebody's meeting at a certain time, well, you know, maybe you've got a third, uh, maybe you've got to meet with a fourth period class, so you can meet me, you know, half hour before. Or if you need to meet with a third period class, you could kind of meet with me after you're done with your third period class. Okay, some teachers are meeting at normal <coughs> hours. Some teachers are meeting at all kinds of others. I have no idea, so I'm just doing it this way so we can kind of uh, find a time where most people can do it. If you can't do any of those times, you can email me and I can go ahead and set up a Google Meet and then you can answer questions. Okay, uh, hope you all stay safe. Okay, and have a good day.